So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we're going to deal with subtraction, uh, first of all, with integers. So 328 take away 67. So the layout is very similar to how we did addition. So 328, and then whatever you're taking away has to go on the bottom. So unlike when we were doing addition, it didn't really matter uh, which one you put uh, top and bottom. Here it does, OK? So whatever number you are subtracting must go on the bottom. You must make sure that the units and tens columns match up, as they do here. So you need to make sure the columns all match up. I'm going to draw a line, and then I'm going to have my subtraction, OK? So. It then works in a very similar way to start off with. So we've got 8 take away 7, okay, which is 1. Then we need to do 2 take away 6. Now, unfortunately, we can't do 2 take away 6 without going into negative numbers. That's not what we want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow from the next number along. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take one away. So I cross it through and replace it with 2. And the one that I've borrowed now goes above the 2. So this forms 12. So I've borrowed 1, brought it over here, and the 3's been now become 2. 12 take away 6 is 6. And then I've got 2 take away nothing, which is 2. So my answer is 261. So this whole idea of borrowing one does take a little bit of getting used to. We're going to see some more examples of how to do it in the next video.